It's been five years now since we've been um, running Loginex. Uh, the whole idea of Loginex came about where we used to work in other corporates or advising other corporates in the US. And we realized that majority of these large enterprises from a transportation perspective, they run their businesses in a really, really manual way. We knew there are ways technologically to solve this challenge and bring all the human decision making on a, on a, in an automated way. Uh, and that's how we started Loginex about five years ago. So it was 2017 when we processed our billionth data point of location. And as the company has grown in revenue, say 5x, the data has grown 50x, right? We have, we have already at 50 billion, you know, data points. That, that is even after, you know, cleansing and doing all of it. If we talk about raw data, it's just, you know, immense location data which helps our customers do their operations better. So as of now, we work with some of the largest brands in the world across Southeast Asia, India, Middle East, Europe and North America to help them automate their transportation business. Over the last couple of years and in, in this year, right, the challenges have, have evolved to be able to pick and choose the right customers and focus on the right geography. So right now we have demand coming from more than 40 countries. Like we literally, we literally get uh, customers, enterprise customers signing up on our website from 40 different countries every month. Um, we don't want to say no to these customers. At the same time, we don't want to lose them as well. So how do you really build something more automated for them, which they can use? At the same time, you can always choose to focus on your key uh, verticals and geographies. It's something that we are focusing on. While the whole world talks about automation and driverless cars and drones and all this fancy stuff, on the ground, the reality is very, very different, right? We, uh, uh, majority of the businesses have dispatchers, they have delivery people, they have uh, team managers, uh, right? They have uh, operational executors, right? Who are just calling customers. They have call centers, right? They have finance and accounting people who are doing the same manual job every day. All these elements to come and they come together and you try to uh, transform customers' business, you see a temporary friction coming back on your platform. And how do you seamlessly address it without going too much into the integrity of that because you have limited cultural control on your customer's culture uh, is very, very tricky. I think, I think what we call as a competition is that. We've been in touch with all the leaders and managers at GenNext. Their biggest value is their network, I think, uh, because they, they are very well connected. They know when to add value and when to step back. Um, they are somebody who can pick up the phone and call for any challenge that may, we may have, right? I still talk to some of the leaders uh, on, a, on a monthly basis, right? And just a casual conversation. Um, and over the last four years, all these monthly calls with them or just a casual conversations have resulted in some sort of a connect to either a regulatory authority we may need an introduction to or to a prospective customer we may want them to talk to or a prospective investor we may, we may want them to talk to do, you know, kind of get, give the new investor a feel how we were when we started. Uh, and also in general, you know, these people are very, very friendly or um, proactive to go out in the world and talk about us, right? So they are also kind of our, um, you know, brand channel where we have done a great job for them and they take immense pride in, in going and talking about a success story like us. Right? I think it's a very mutually beneficial relationship we have gotten into and the first four years have been great. Um, I still see this as a long journey uh, with Reliance G uh, GeoGenX. One thing actually we had learned at GeoGenX to be very honest. Uh, Prasanna had taken this session wherein you know he had spoken about how to prioritize your roadmap. During that, that time you would be like you know we should be building everything. But as you grow, prioritization becomes a very, very important factor in your path to succeed. We do have plans for next five years, but we know the plans will change after three years. We are doing a lot in terms of, you know, catering to different departments of an organization. So, for example, we have five personas in our product currently. We want to take these five personas to ten personas, right from, you know, shippers, carriers, dispatchers using our product. We have more and more use cases where different departments of the companies want to use our product. Uh, on top of that, we use a lot of, uh, you know, machine learning 
algorithms which help our customers achieve you know which help our customers actually implement what we suggest you know there's one thing where technology suggests is something and then there's another thing that it is operationally implemented so we are using more and more machine learning algorithms where it becomes more and more practical for our customers to implement that right right from routing algorithms to calculating the right ets considering the right traffic patterns depending on different geographies understanding local nuances of every country it's very important to accommodate all these in your platform so that is something we have been doing really well and we want to continue doing that